What is up YouTube? So obviously I'm still on the Suzuki 1000 today. I really wanted to do the uh, release of the new bike, but a few things happened that didn't allow it. My new helmet didn't come in. My new jacket didn't come in. The graphics for the bike had a technical issue. And apparently it just, uh, move over dude. Really? No, I'm okay. Okay. I just thought you were going to run me over. <laughs> no, I'm not going to run you over. Hey, I love your car, man. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> it's my favorite car right there. So, uh, yeah. Um, back to the bike. Anyhow, I'm going to be selling this bike here pretty soon. This bike's essentially a GSX-R 1000. It's got the same swing arm chassis. It's got the 2005 championship winning motor tons of power in this bike I'm gonna put fresh tires on it um, and sell this bad boy uh, so if any of you guys are interested and want to talk to me about it send me an email right here and or the email is in the description where you can reach me and uh, I'll give you all the info the thing will be all cleaned up it's a little bit dirty right now anyhow let's ride man so today's like a little mission I want to go see if I can find Malcolm Smith's house he lives here in Riverside I've been to his house before it was about 15 years ago and going to a friend's house the other day with the wife to watch the Las Vegas Supercross on TV and I remember telling her like, hey, did you know Malcolm Smith lives right over here in this uh, area? So it reminded me, I wanna go see if I can find that place again. It's got a pretty amazing house. And the street I'm on right now, this is Victoria Avenue. This street was built in like 1892. Of course, back then it was dirt. And this is like the most famous street in Riverside about eight miles long and as you can see there's just a lot of plants planted along this street and I did some research today and it and the city said anybody that buys property along this street needs to plant trees along the front of their house so that's why it's so botanical and then see all these uh, orange trees this is what Riverside was famous for. Basically, naval oranges was like our huge industry back in the day. And then of course, all these people come along and want to live here, so they're, all the remaining orange groves basically are along this street and there's hardly any left. Anyhow, let's talk about bike insurance, fun stuff. So the reason I'm talking about this right now is because, you know, I just bought my new bike. I bought it on a whim and I didn't price insurance on it before I bought it. I just bought it. And then I had a panic when, you know, they gave me five days to get bike insurance. So I already had four bikes insured through Allstate. So I called them, actually I emailed them and I said, hey, I want to add this bike. And how much is that going to cost me a month? Now, this is a Suzuki 1000 and I'm paying right around $40 a month for this bike and uh, I run some pretty high miles on it so obviously your mileage affects your price anyhow I told them I was gonna run uh, maybe 5,000 miles a year on my new bike and the price oh, you see the dog in the backpack he was asleep how cute um, so the price came back at $90 a month just for my new bike. I was like, what? I mean, I literally started to break out in a sweat. I'm like, I did not plan on spending another $100 a month just to insure this new machine when I've already got like this new payment on top of the payment for this bike. It's just everything's stacking up, right? I'm like, shoot, man. All right, let me get back to you. So that's with Hall State. So here's the thing guys, if you're, first of all, before you buy a bike, see the dog sleeping in the backpack? Uh, before you buy a bike, 
especially if it's a 1000 or even a 600 and you're young have tickets accidents anything even if you have a clean record i recommend you contact some insurance companies first and here look at the dog he's cute and uh uh get some insurance quotes man because you never know what you're gonna get hit with you younger guys under 25 you want to jump on a 1000 you might be getting dinged well over 100 bucks a month for insurance 150 maybe even more it depends on the bike sport bikes are really a lot more money than like non-sport bikes let me just continue with my story so for the record i'm over 40. i have a clean driving record so my insurance should be about as low as it can get and i wanted to make sure that uh you know i kept my miles down on my bike or at least told them i am and so i called AAA. And AAA comes in at $40 a month. I'm like, thank God. Thank you. Then I contacted State Farm. They came in at $109 a month. I'm like, what? Come on, God. How can there be that big of a difference between companies? So shop around. So here's where it got crazy. So then I emailed back my initial insurance company Allstate and I said hey I'm canceling my policy for motorcycles uh, I was able to get a much better price at AAA and they said well oh well um, we can get your price down we just drop your miles uh, even lower and I'm like well how much she says we can get it down to like $35 a month and I'm like okay you got to be kidding me I already switched insurance companies I already spent a hundred $25 to sign up with them and now you guys are telling me you went from 90 to 35 come on man I was not happy I was happy that they got it down that low but I'm like you know you guys really need to get your act together and uh, let me know these options in the first place because when you told me $90 a month you didn't give me any options anyhow needless to say I dropped them and went with AAA so I suggest shop AAA if they're not the best for you. I would try Allstate. Now, here's some things you can do. I have, shit, four or five motor four motorcycles insured right now. Two of the bikes, I have really low insurance because I don't get comprehensive. And basically what comprehensive is, is if my bike is stolen or crashed or starts on fire, they will pay for it. Now, the reason I don't have that insurance coverage is because the bikes just don't have a lot of value in them. My, my VFR has over 100,000 miles in it. It's worth maybe a couple thousand dollars. So why pay all that money, extra money every month for something that maybe happened to it? Because when you have full coverage, your rates go way up. Now, just to have uh, like bodily injury and, st and basically the, the the mandatory minimum for California um, you don't need comprehensive you don't need full coverage unless the bike is financed okay here's the deal if you finance your bike and you have a lien holder meaning a bank owns it and you're making payments on it you have to have full coverage on your motorcycle you can't get away with not having it so that's kind of a stickler there but I suggest if you have a bike and you figure if you crash it and total it you're okay with just tossing it don't pay the extra insurance every month you know that's your option here's another thing tell them you're keeping your miles maybe three thousand five thousand maybe ask them where they have their different caps um, because that'll make a big difference in your price every month is how many miles you're putting on the bike. You don't want to go tell them like, oh, I'm going to rack up 12,000, 15,000 miles a year. Your insurance is going to go straight to the top, right? So keep the miles down. Look at that house. That's sick. Wow. I'm impressed. Oh, water fountain and everything. So yeah, when it comes to insurance, man, there's a lot of variables. Um, okay, deductible. 
almost all of us throw to say give us the thousand dollar deductible that's going to shave off about a hundred bucks a month now here's something weird the bike i just bought is exotic and for some reason i don't know if it's the finance company or what they required me to only get a five hundred dollar deductible <laughs> what i've never seen that in my whole life so that drove my insurance up on the bike about um, 100, well, 100 bucks for the year. It's not a big, it's not a big difference, you know, not even 10 bucks a month. So what I did was I actually paid the bike off last week. And so I just got back hold of AAA and said, all right, drop that deductible back, or not drop it, but raise it back up to 1,000. 1,000 is cheaper than 500 because obviously your deductible is how much you pay to get your bike fixed. The more you pay, the less they're gonna charge you a month on your on your policy. So what else is gonna is gonna change things around? Um you know, obviously your coverage levels, you know, your bodily injury, collision, all that stuff, you know, there's so many variables, it makes your head spin. But uh, like I said, so I got my new bike, which is an exotic 1000 super sport bike for just under 40 bucks a month at um, under 5,000 miles per year. So that's just kind of giving you guys an example because, oh uh, really? Okay. Um, because there's some guys that have my bike and they were on these message boards and they're getting quotes like 120 140 dollars a month and that hurts man that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, donero every month just to insure your bike i mean that could be more than half the payment itself let's say your payment on your bike like my payment on my new bike was going to be 250 dollars a month and that was with a pretty fat down payment so you know you start throwing insurance on top of that another 120 bucks a month Youch, right? So why not get your insurance down as cheap as possible? But man, number one, well not number one, but big warning man, price insurance before you buy the bike because when I bought my new bike and I was all excited and got home, didn't even think about insurance and then that's when I did start pricing it out. That's when things started getting crazy and scary. It's just good to know what you're looking at before you step up and buy the bike. You don't want to buy a bike and then you hate the insurance price and then you're like, well, I love my new bike, but I hate it more now because my insurance is so ridiculously high. Okay, so that's about all there is to say about insurance, man. You got any questions or, or comments? Throw those below. Let's hear about it. How much are you guys paying for insurance? I'm really curious. You know, if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Let 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 our audience know what uh, what you're paying on your bike. You know, like what your age is and why you think you're paying what you're paying, especially if you're paying a lot. Okay, so my history with Malcolm Smith. If you guys haven't heard of Malcolm Smith, stop this video right now. Watch the movie on any Sunday and then come back and watch this video. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, Malcolm Smith, famous off-road racer back in the 70s. And me and Malcolm Smith go way back. As a kid, uh, my dad always bought us kids dirt bikes from Malcolm's dealership here in Riverside. And then I actually started working for Malcolm. Sorry if my voice is rough. This street is ragged. I started working for Malcolm back when I was like 21, 22 years old for his clothing company, Malcolm Smith Racing. And I started there as a, well first I was picking orders in the back for shipping. And then a couple years later I started there as a, as a, a designer, graphic designer, designing gear. So me and Malcolm go way back, man. Um, my fondest memory was uh, going to his cabin in Colorado for like three days on a photo shoot and just riding all over the backcountry with him and staying, just really got to know him 
personally, you know, when you see people at work, you don't really get to know him that well. So that was a pretty cool experience. But we're coming up on his neighborhood. And like I said, I'm just winging it here. But he lives in a sick neighborhood. Okay, I kind of remember this. Look at this house right here on the corner. That's just beautiful. Very nice. Another very nice house. Look at that. We like. And then they got this ugly stuff across the street. Yuck. Okay, this is a canal right here. And when we were kids, we used to swim in these canals in Riverside and take a motorcycle and ride along the side of it with a rope and like a, a knee board and like do water sports in there. See how it's got water in it? <laughs> That's pretty crazy, man. Okay, I think he's on the back side of this mountain. Pretty crummy road leading into a nice neighborhood if he is back here. It's pretty funny when I was at Malcolm's house years ago. Wow, check that out, Victorian style. Um, I remember saying, well, yeah, Malcolm, you got a pretty sweet pad here. He goes, yeah, well, you know what? It's got a pretty sweet payment too. God, look at that. That is so nice. It's a good thing I'm not on my new bike up here right now because that thing's so loud. Everybody up here would be hating me. I'd probably have the cops chasing me. Oh, I'm getting warm, I think. Wait a minute. No, no, that's not it. Another sweet pad. Look at that, man. That is sick. Love that gate. Another one. She asked this guy, where's Michael Smith live? I don't know. Who's Michael Smith? God, I hope I don't fail. Wow, more impressive. I better watch where I'm going, dude. I'm gonna pull a wall terrific and hit a curb and fall over and break my collarbone. I think I'll recognize it when I, oh, oh, this could be it. More orange groves, nice, yep, this is it. Oh wait, oh, there it is right there, shit. Almost went past it. So there's his gate. Kill the end, Joan. Let's check out his pad. Oh, look at that. Poor little guy. Ah, I love animals, dude. I hate seeing anything bad happen to animals. Even the wild ones. So this is Malcolm Smith's pad. Four car garage. I don't really remember it inside, but this place is big, man. Got some beautiful trees out front. The home of legendary Malcolm Smith. If you guys, seriously, if you haven't seen On Any Sunday, it's the most amazing, timeless, everlasting motorcycle movie ever made. Seriously. The, just the soundtrack from it, just to this day it was like I said it was made in the 70s and to this day the soundtrack just hits a nerve with everybody that rides a motorcycle as does the entire movie huh he's got a dog hey boy <laughs> if he knew it was me out front he'd come want to say hi well okay man this video is getting pretty long I better shut her down um, that's it, man. Bike reveal coming soon. Stay tuned. See ya.